Hello, Weather Track listeners. This is Ben Coffey, the HydroPoint Training Manager, and today I'm here to introduce the Weather Track mapping feature we call the Asset Manager. We start today's tour by selecting the Asset Manager from the navigation toolbar of your WeatherTrack.net account. And here you'll find that WeatherTrack has linked a Google map of your site. And we've created the Asset Manager application to allow you to locate, identify, and more closely track all of the landscape and irrigation assets that you manage by giving each asset a pin on this map. From a high level, a map is the most basic water management tool there is. When I was an irrigation tech, the first thing that I always did when I began managing a new system was make a map, because knowing the location of all the components that you're accountable for is an essential first step. And unfortunately for me, the common perception of irrigation professionals is when they make a map, the map belongs to them. And therefore, when they're done managing the system, they take the map with them. So I almost always had to bill the customer for the time that it took to document where everything was on site. With the Asset Manager, this type of information is stored as part of the permanent record and will not only save you time, but help everyone who will need to manage this system in the future. The map is what one of my friends calls a virtual as-built. Let me show you how it works. Say you're sending your irrigation tech out to look at an issue on Station 1. You can click on Valve 1 from the Asset List, and the Asset Manager will highlight the location of this asset on the map, so you can point your tech to the exact spot on site where they need to focus their efforts. Clicking on the pins inside the map works too, so you can identify the surrounding assets, like here. Valve 1 sits right in between Valve 2 and Valve 10. You can also zoom in on the asset to see exactly where in the landscape that asset is located. But knowing the location is only the first step in managing this asset. While you have this pin highlighted, you can click on the Details tab in the upper left hand corner of the display and see all of the information that you've saved for this asset. Like in this example, I can see all of the information for this valve including the price that I paid for the valve and the manufacturer and size of this valve. So as an irrigation tech, if I'm responding to a call to repair this valve, I'm sure I have the right parts and tools with me when I show up on site to make this repair so I can have a 10 minute repair that actually only takes 10 minutes. In addition, you can track the maintenance record of this asset by using the notes function. As you can see in this example, I went out to repair this valve on April 29th and found a leak, so I replaced the valve diaphragm that I thought had gone bad. Then I was back out on site not even a month later responding to this same issue. And with the revolving door of people who manage these systems, this is something that could easily get lost in the shuffle, adding unnecessary and costly steps to this repair but by tracking these details in the Asset Manager, we can see that we need to try a different solution to find a resolution to this issue. In short, as I hope I've demonstrated today, the WeatherTrack Asset Manager uses mapping tools to not only track the location of the landscape assets that you manage, but also to track the essential details of each asset to allow everyone who managed the system to access all of this important water management information in one centralized location.